The festive season is a wonderful time to go with the flow, lose any baggage that you may have been carrying during the year, and enjoy the contentment that comes from being with family and friends. Of course, feasting is part of the formula, but a traditional Northern Hemisphere Christmas menu can be a little heavy for sunny South Africa. This has inspired Chef Barney Pariachi to come up with a very appetizing local alternative. December is a very busy time for Chef Vani Padiachi, with visitors flocking to the restaurant to enjoy the superb Indian cuisine. But she generously made time to share a special menu with her friends. It is the festive season, which means we all have more time to spend with family, friends, and also to indulge in the good stuff like food. Look at the spread on this table. I know. It's an explosion of colours. <laughs> it is. It's Christmas. Don't you love this time of the year? It's fabulous. It's family. It's good food, friends. What are you preparing today? So I've got a few dishes that I'd like to make for us today. I'm going to do a vegetarian dish of rajma masala. It's dried red kidney beans. I soak them overnight. It's going to take at least an hour and a half to cook till it's almost soft mush and then I'm going to braise that with some delicate spices, some ginger garlic. So that's going to be mmm yummy and comfort food. I'm feeling your passion. <laughs> I'm going to get out of your way and I'm going to leave you to it. Thank you. <laughs> so to start off I'm going to put the rajma on to boil. Water and I'm going to do the water three parts to the rajma because it's going to cook for about an hour and a half so you want that to cook almost mush. Adding a little bit of salt so that cooks away and I'm going to start off with the marinade of the salmon trout and it's a very simple marinade. I have some ginger garlic, always a 50-50 ratio, some Dijon mustard, hung yogurt. I like using hung yogurt because it just adds that creaminess to the dish. A drop of vinegar, a good pinch of garam masala, my favorite spice, chaat masala, turmeric powder, Kashmiri chili, just a hint. And then I'm going to give that a good stir. The last ingredient, which is just the juice of one lemon, that really adds that beautiful citrus flavor to this dish. Just mix it all in. There we have a beautiful marinade. So all I want to do is get a good handful of that on the outside and also a bit on the inside. With this, I'm going to skewer onto a tandoori stick. I'm going to start off at the tail and take him right through to the gill. Off to the oven I go. So Michelle, while the fish is in the oven for about 45 minutes, let's marinate the chicken and get that into the oven as well. So the ingredients I need, ginger garlic paste, some mustard oil, and a good dollop of that. I love using mustard oil in chicken. Hung yogurt, a little bit of white wine vinegar, some garam masala, chaat masala. And my new favorite ingredient is kasturi murthy. Kasturi murthy is dried fenugreek leaves. And now a little bit of turmeric, Kashmiri chili, some salt. And now I'm going to work all of these ingredients in. So I'm going to get my tandoori skewer and skewer gently. And to the tandoori oven I go. So the chicken is in, the fish is looking good, but I spy that the rajma is ready. Perfect. So I'm just going to give that a quick strain. And to start off the braise of the rajma is, I need a good dollop of ghee. And melt your ghee. Ginger garlic. The next ingredient is our spice. And I've got whole cumin seeds a dried chilies, turmeric, a little bit of Kashmiri spice, cumin powder, coriander powder, a little bit of salt, and I'm going to give that a quick stir so that all fry. Can you smell that fragrance, aromas of the ginger, garlic, and the cumin? 
can smell that coming through. That smells so good. And I've got some tomato paste, some whole tomatoes, and I'm just gonna cook that off for about a minute or two. Just let it sweat through, because you really want that tomatoes to cook. And now our rajma is ready to go in and give that a good stir. And just to make it a bit more gravy, I'm going to add the liquid of the rajma that it was cooking in. So this will cook for the next 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to go and get the chicken and the fish from the tandoor oven. I've made some rumali roti, which I'm going to pile up, and some lemon wedges. And to accompany the chicken, I've made some grilled vegetables. So I'm just going to put them around fresh fennel, just to give it that beautiful licorice flavor. And to finish off the rajma, oh, this mm. smells so good and it's ready. I'm going to add a bunch of coriander. Serve it in the pot, family style. To finish our Christmas family feast, I have some jira mata pilau. This is an absolute feast. This looks incredible. It is. You are a Christmas angel. Thank you. <laughs> What's your message to all the viewers out there? Peace and love and family togetherness. That is so beautiful, Vani. From all of us, wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Be safe and have fun.